Welcome Cherry's family. Today we have Jesper from Interthor who's going to be joining us to explain uh, a special product. We call it the Thork Lift. Uh, we call it also a semi-electric scissor lift. There's different ways to call it, I would imagine. Or even a skid lift. Skid lift. It has many there names. We, there we go. So I'm going to have him just explain to us basically how the Thork Lift works but before we do that, we're going to talk about uh, some warehouse safety that we need to discuss. So if you can help us with that. Yeah, so Jerry, thank you again for the invitation. Thank you to Cherries for seeing us. It's awesome to get the focus on ergonomics. Yes. And like you say, a lot of facil facilities do a lot of no-nos out there. Yeah. And this year being one we all see, you're in a factory, you have a conveyor belt where boxes come out. In this case, we don't have a conveyor belt, but we do have some boxes. And you got to build a pallet. Yeah. A lot of the times this is what happens. Somebody grabs a pallet and a pallet box and you start building the pallet. Gotcha. You go down and you bend. Doing this here, maybe not with a lot of weight, but you do it a thousand times yes. in a day, it's going to cost to have you back issues. Gotcha, gotcha. So I can see that that is not a good thing for the, the spine. No, it's absolutely not. And yeah. For the individual worker, it's not a very comfortable working situation. That's gotcha, for sure. gotcha. And that's where the forklift comes in, of course. Awesome. Well, do you want to push I'm, it in? Oh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's Absolutely. do it. I'll get it in there. Yeah. Let's do this. So we just straight in there. Straight in there. Absolutely. I'll let you work the controls. Absolutely. So once you get in, you have uh, the controls here for the electrical version. Okay. You elevate it up. And as you elevate, what you actually have happening is that you have the silver leg here and there's a similar silver leg on the other side going okay. in and locking the unit to the ground, okay. making it very sturdy. Got so it. it will not move. At the same time, in the front you have dual wheels. You have a metal piece here that goes in and locks the front wheels, again, to make it sturdy. So you won't move when it's elevated. Great. We like That's to call those feature. tandem wheels and they are more stable. Absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. So right now, I now have my boxes here at a much better working height. I'm gotcha. at 31 and a half inches. I can grab a box from my conveyor belt, put it on. With no bending. Exactly. I mean, a much better working environment. Yeah, it's about waist high, so yeah. ergonomic, it works. Absolutely. Now, of course, if I go up here, I'm doing stretching on my arms. Exactly, right? exactly. So you want to move it down a little bit. You can, can bring you it go. down. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes a lot of sense. And then you start building again. Excellent. A lot easier on the back, that's for sure. Much easier. Yeah, that's, much easier. That's, uh, the goal is to take care of our employees. So that's what this is all about. To make it life easier and, and of course, efficient. Productive because, is yeah. the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Cut those workers' comp claims. Absolutely. A, le a little extra add on here is uh, our electronic eye. Okay. Instead of having to push over here up and down, this eye here will actually automatically level where my load is. Okay. So I turn it on. And I push this one here. So in essence, this is an eye that shoots out a laser beam, correct? Yep. An infrared beam goes out okay. and it reads where a, an obstruction is on the pallet and then it will go up and down. It is not weight related, it is where something obstructs the beam. Got it, yep. got it. And you can adjust the beam how far out on the pallet you want to go. Okay, very so good. So I'll take an example here and I can build my box right now, nothing happens. I'm still level here. Gotcha. If I take this box, and let's say I put it here, nothing happens. But if I took the box and put it here, then it will go down. Because it's measured to do the closer proximity. Correct. So you gotcha. can build the pallet over here Absolutely. and end up over here before it does the adjustment. That's fantastic. That's a great device to have. Yeah, absolutely. And then the, you can go the opposite way too. So of course, if you're unloading a pallet, okay. you merely just click here 
and now the unit will go the opposite way. I remove my box, put it here. And it brings it up. It brings it up. Maintaining that ergonomic height. All so the time, having it at this, this height. Fantastic. Take a box here that's not in the beam. It will not move. Gotcha. You take one here that's in within the beam's reach, and then it will go up. That's fantastic. That is very important for, for, for the safety of our employees. So this is a, a great tool. So this is the forklift. And, and then this is a semi-electric, which means we can roll manually and it lifts electrically. So can we talk a little bit about seeing it roll maybe? Absolutely. It down yeah. a so a lot of people out there maybe have lift tables. Uh, with the lift tables, you would need somebody to come with the load onto the lift table. Mm -hmm. The great thing about the forklift is that the person operating the unit can actually grab the load and roll off with it. There you go. See, this is great. It's a mobile lift table, if you will. Yeah, it is. It's pretty exciting. It absolutely is. Um, now, can you tell me about the, the charging of this unit? How, how we, because yes. it is electric. It is electric. So it, it's fairly simple. You have a, an, a plug over here on the side. Okay, there we go. And uh, the charging cable is basically just in here. Oh. And you plug this straight into the side. Standard and outlet? Standard outlet into the wall. Fantastic. The up and yeah. Love it. That's so very, great. very simple. Very simple. And so how long do you think the charge will last approximately? It's quoted for one shift, but of course we often see it go into multiple shifts. Uh, if you do run multiple shifts, we recommend having a, an external battery charging somewhere. Okay. And you put it in. It takes about eight hours for a good deep charge. Uh, but we see these units in several locations where you do 24-7 operations. Mm, very good. And uh, they are workhorses. Uh, we have sold this product since the middle of the 80s, and you yourself have sold them for many, yeah, many years as well through absolutely. Cherries. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, it's a workhorse. It's a great product and helps efficiency in the plants. It helps uh, the, the workers' environment, and I'm sure you're going to have a lot more happy people out there uh, building pallets than what they are today. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, we'd like to say thank you guys for watching and thank you, Jesper, for helping us out with un better understanding this product, which I see there's going to be a lot of value to our, our customers and those in the warehouse, making sure that they protect their valuable assets, their body. Uh, so we're excited. So on behalf of Cherries Industrial, we'd like to thank you for watching. You guys have a great day.